All right, so I'm gonna show you today what I believe is the absolute best lens for the Panasonic GH5S. So everybody knows the Panasonic GH5 is a fantastic video camera. The GH5S improves in many aspects, including low light with their dual native ISO. Uh, I think a little quicker autofocus. Uh, it is an absolutely fantastic uh, camera in and of itself for video making. The one downside, no in-body image stabilization. So you're left with stabilized lens. And we know that the uh, autofocus hack, uh, as described by Yoda Yao and others on the internet now, actually works great to improve the autofocus on this camera. Um, so finding that perfect lens is really important. I think this opens up the door for Panasonic native lenses to be used. I absolutely think that you need image stabilization when shooting with the GH5S, especially if you're going to do absolutely anything handheld. So the solution is this. That's right, the Leica DG Vario uh, Elmerit 12 to 60. And I know one of the big problems is, is the variable aperture on this lens, f2.8 to f4. My plan is probably when traveling and doing any kind of video where I'm going to zoom, uh, will be to utilize this lens at f4 and keep it at steady f4 aperture. You know, with the GH5S being able to shoot up to 12,800 ISO opens a whole new door to low light. And I don't think missing that stop or so of aperture will, will be a big deal. Um, if you want shallow depth of field, you're going to need to go shallower, in my opinion, than f2.8. So I think this is the perfect lens, great image stabilization. And I think from a uh, autofocus standpoint may be the best autofocusing lens on the GH5S with this new autofocus hack. But that's not the real secret reason to why I feel like this lens is the best lens for video on the GH5S. I think the secret thing that many people don't talk about is the fact that it's par focal. And this is something you really don't see unless you're talking about really great cinema lenses. Uh, like the Canon 18 to 80 Cine Glass, uh, the Fuji uh, Cinema Lens, where par focality allows you to get in focus, either um, zoomed in or zoomed out, and maintain that focus throughout the zoom range. There's very little focus breathing on this lens. So from a video standpoint, having the image stabilization and having it be par focal with no focus breathing is absolutely fantastic and makes this a great lens. Plus it's small, it's got a great range, 12 to 60 gives you that 24 to 120 millimeter focal length, and the image stabilization is absolutely critical in the GH5S. And with the GH5, the dual image stabilization, absolutely unbelievable. So let's take a look inside. I ordered this through B&H. Um, once again, as always, it comes with a nice locking hood ring and a bag here and then here is the actual lens it's a 62 millimeter filter thread um, it is a nice all metal build um, it is a little heftier than the 12 to 35 which I'm shooting on now um, but it certainly feels really smooth. This, the focusing ring is m very, very smooth. I don't love that it extends uh, while zooming, but all of these lens, frankly, have that as an issue. Um, so again, you can see the autofocus and the power OIS there. But from a size standpoint, it's about the same, uh, about the same length, kind of in between the 35 to 100 and the 12 to 35. It is a bit heftier. It takes 62 millimeter filter threads. The one that I love the most is this um, B&W XS Pro. This is a really nice neutral density filter. Um, and I like it because it is limited. So you're not spinning it all the way around. It only goes so far before it stops really great. I've got these in a variety of different uh, sizes to accommodate all of my uh, all of my lenses. And let's check this out. Alright, so this is the 12 to 35 and this is what I'm talking about with focus creep. 
So we're at f2.8. I'm using manual focus here. And as I zoom out, what you'll notice is that it loses just a little bit of focus. Let's come out here. We'll focus. We'll zoom in. And you'll see it's just a little bit out of focus. So this lens is close, but it's not par focal. All right, so I'm zooming in. Once again, we're at f4. We're focused. Now I'm zooming out to 2.8, and we're staying focused. Let's go to 2.8. Now we're focused. Zooming in. Once again, still focused. Throughout that zoom range, you don't lose the focus with it. So a little bit better than its brethren here, the 12 to 35, and that is version 1. I can't comment on version 2, but I love the fact that this lens is par focal. All right, so here we are at f2.8. I'm doing a little handheld test with the facial autofocus on. With this lens, it should be fairly fast. We can zoom it in. Once again, this is on facial recognition, shooting 30p, uh, shutter speed of 179. And I've dialed down my, um, some of my settings just a little bit here so that it's not quite as, the autofocus is not quite as fast uh, and doesn't show as much, hopefully, of the pulsing. But this is just a handheld shot. You can see the GH5S handheld with the IS. The other thing I really like about this lens is the ability to use it as a macro lens. So here we can see I'm literally about 20 centimeters away from this uh, lens. And this is all the way zoomed into 60 or 120 equivalent. We're at f4 and um, you can see the kind of resolution and the kind of bokeh you get with this. Alright, so once again this is the Panasonic uh, Leica variant of the 12 to 60 millimeter lens with image stabilization 2.8 to 4 and I think this could be the magical formula for the GH5S with the autofocus hack. Thanks for watching.